Hello, I am a pediatrician and I'm also a mom. I know that there are so many choices to make about how to care for your baby, including how to keep them safe while they sleep. Sleep is so critical for their development and they're going to sleep a lot. And so we wanna make sure to create a safe sleep space every time. Sadly, over 100 babies die each year in North Carolina in unsafe sleep environments. Unsafe sleep environments increase the risk of suffocation and sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. I know it can be hard to hear, but the good news is that we have decades of research on the best way to make sleep safer for your baby. There's a lot of advice out there about babies in sleep, but it is always important to follow medically proven advice. I'd like to share with you four key recommendations. First, baby sleep safest always on their back. Place baby on his or her back, never on their tummy or side, for every nap and at night for the first year. This helps them breathe best and reduces the risk of suffocation. When they get older and roll on their own from their back to their stomach or side, that is fine but always first place them on their back. If your baby is swaddled, you should stop swaddling them once they show signs of rolling, usually around two to three months. And yes, it is safest for babies to sleep on their backs, even if they spit up or have issues with reflux. Babies are less likely to choke, suffocate, or stop breathing when they are placed on their backs. Second, babies sleep safest in a crib, bassinet, or pack and play with a flat, firm mattress that doesn't indent when pressed and has a fitted sheet. Babies should never sleep in an adult bed, couch, or chair. They should also never sleep in an inclined bed, swing, bouncy seat, soft-sided bed, or baby hammock. And a car seat should only be used when driving. These sleep spaces should be avoided because they have been shown to increase the risk of suffocation and SIDS. Third, Baby sleeps safest when there's nothing but baby. This means only baby in their own space. It is not safe to sleep with your baby, whether on purpose or by accident. Instead of sleeping with baby, consider the recommendations to share your room, not your bed. This is based on research that shows it is safest to have your baby sleep in your room, but in their own approved safe sleep space placed next to your bed. This way you can more easily care for them as needed especially at night, but allow them to sleep safely in their own space. You may feel that you are protecting your infant by having them sleep with you, but sadly, most sleep-related deaths in North Carolina happen when a baby sleeps on the same surface with someone else, which could be their parent, caregiver, or sibling. When your baby sleeps in their own space, you are keeping them safe from injury or death. Nothing but baby also means no extra items in their sleep space. No blankets, no pillows, no sleep positioners, and no stuffed animals. These items increase the risk of suffocation. And lastly, your baby's safest when they are kept away from smoke and vape before and after they are born. Tobacco exposure makes it harder for infants to breathe and greatly increases the risk of sleep-related death and SIDS. You may still have questions or need more support to follow these recommendations. I understand, most parents do. Talk to your healthcare provider and visit safesleepnc.org to find videos with expert answers to common questions and concerns about keeping your baby safe while they sleep. Be sure everyone who cares for your baby follows these life-saving practices. Remember, decades of medical research supports that your baby sleeps safest with these recommendations. Always on their back, in a crib or pack and play, with nothing but baby, and free from smoke and vape.